I'm Mrs. Vassa and I'm the photography teacher here at Passaic Valley High School. We have a full 12 station darkroom here. We're one of at least 40 high schools in the state that still has a darkroom. Um, I think film and all analog processes are incredibly important because they are standalone art media. When digital came into three-dimensional art or two-dimensional art like drawing, it didn't replace the analog processes and that's the same with photography. When we work in the darkroom, it teaches you to slow down, pay closer attention to the details, appreciate your surroundings more when you're shooting. I've gained confidence in my creativity because I take pictures of things that you wouldn't even think would be photography worthy, but everything is beautiful in its own way because it's yours. I, I read a lot about photography and there are a number of professional photographers out there who have dumped analog for digital in the past and are actually returning to film. Uh, film analog processes, they, they better inform what you're doing as a photographer. Uh, even if it's just a hobby, there's a totally different aesthetic to film versus digital. And uh, the students really enjoy the newness of it. You know, it's interesting. Um, there are students who are really good in some media and they just, the camera, the film process doesn't click with them. And so the flip of that is there are some kids who think they have zero talent in any other art media and they really excel in the darkroom. Um, it's also a really calming place and um, I think kids enjoy coming here to work in the darkroom because it's relaxing. It can be stressful when things aren't working out and stations 7, 8, 9, and 10 are for crying when things don't work out. But eventually, I, because I don't let you give up, when it works out, it, it, you feel really successful. It is a legitimate art medium in itself, so I think getting rid of any art medium in a school is a mistake, because each different art medium has its own benefits. It, it, we don't have the same benefits as digital. We don't have the same benefits as sculpture or drawing or painting. Um, it's a standalone art medium. Benefits, it, it really teaches you to just pay closer attention to the details and to not rely on a delete button. You have to be more conscious of what you're doing when you're shooting film because you will not see the end result until you're away from that setting, you're back here in the darkroom, and you're developing your film. So you, you really have to pay closer attention to your surroundings and slow down a bit. It's really fun. I had one girl this morning, she came out of the dark room with her test strip and it was really sharp and perfect. And I saw the look on her face and the satisfaction. So that was really good. But then when she did the full print and she came out with it, it was so sharp and there were like four or five of us standing around her with her print in her tray. And there was such pride that she had. So that, that's, that's I, I think that's the, my favorite part of it. And when it comes to art show, because we're a mixed class, we get all types of kids. Seeing teachers and classmates, seeing what their classmates or students did and seeing that they had that ability and talent is really nice. I, th I think there are some surprises. Because there's a lot more variety in analog. And with analog, if something's going wrong, generally, I can usually fix it. I don't have to worry about a slow network. I don't have to worry about a program loading slowly because we know Photoshop takes a while to load. Basically, it, there's a lot of DIY that I like to it. But there's a lot of stuff where if there's a problem, there's a, there's a really easy workaround. And, and I like that problem solving that doesn't exist in digital.